Oscar De La Hoya and Dana White haven't seen eye to eye lately, but that seems to have changed. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the combat sports world, like the rest of the world, has been forced to shut down. Yet White and the UFC plan on returning on May 9, which De La Hoya respects. The feud began after White guided Conor McGregor into the world of boxing for his professional debut against Floyd Mayweather in 2017. But like many pugilist purists, the Golden Boy promoter was unhappy the notorious one came into the sport as a novice and took on one of the greatest to ever do it. You know, boxing is boxing and MMA is MMA. Um, they're two separate sports. Um, and it would be a joke, it would be an embarrassment for boxing if, uh, if an MMA fighter were, were to go into, uh, into the ring. Um, it, it would be a no contest. It would be the same thing if a fighter went into the octagon. It would be an, an embarrassment for, for the MMA. So I, I, just feel, I just feel that, look, these are two separate sports, and, uh, and you know, you have a, a McGregor, for instance, who is the best at what he does, and you have Mayweather who is the best at what he does. So, um, I, I don't. I don't see. Uh, I don't see why uh, uh, you know this fight taking place. I mean, there's no. There's not in a million years will this fight take place. But the legendary boxer was wrong. It did take place. Was hugely successful, and his remarks sparked a rivalry with the president of the UFC. Afterwards, the Mexican American, who was a six-weight world champion decided to move into MMA himself to promote the trilogy fight against White's longtime friend Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. With White stating, the new Oscar de la Hoya is a scumbag, a liar, and a complete moron. So that's where Oscar de la Hoya and I are. But in a surprise move, De La Hoya has publicly praised White's move to get the juggernaut MMA organization back on track quicker than most other sports. I commend and respect Dana, De La Hoya said. He came out and criticized me and ridiculed me. You know what? Dana is doing a phenomenal job at defending his sport, growing his sport, and he's doing it big. The UFC will look to run back-to-back -back events over the course of just eight days, with May the 9th, 13th, and 16th scheduled in. All events will take place at the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. One championship stacked featherweight ranks are going to get a super addition when Sage Northcutt returns to action in 2020. Former UFC star Northcutt made his promotional debut at welterweight back in May 2019. But after suffering a horrific KO, his comeback plan is to drop two divisions to chase gold. And the Texan has his eye on one of the featherweight's most dangerous fighters. I've been watching so many videos for so many months now while I've been healing up, Northcutt said. I've been looking at everybody, including Martin Nguyen. Obviously, he's the champion. He's impressive. To the world of boxing now. With Eddie Hearn adamant, deals could be struck with the prospective next opponents of Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury to step aside and allow the two British heavyweights to fight next. Joshua's promoter, Hearn, revealed he has been speaking to Fury's management team, MTK Global about a potential blockbuster bout in which all four of the major world titles in the heavyweight division would be on the line. And finally, New York's Madison Square Garden teamed up with world champions, Hall of Famers, and the boxing community for a special video tribute honoring healthcare workers in the global fight against COVID-19. To protect us and provide our communities with necessary services. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing everything you do. These are the real heroes here. Thank you. We know it's not easy to step into the ring and face this fight, 
but we want to let you know. We are all in your corner. We'll be back at the garden soon. But in the meantime, please stay at home. Practice social distancing. Protect yourself at all times and wear a mask. Remember to wash your hands. And please, please stay, stay safe. safe. Together, we're not going to have Coming up, we take an in-depth look at the career of Holly Holm. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.